Welcome back to another video enabling us to teach you more about Logbook Pro. In this video segment, we're going to take a look at two features within Logbook Pro to make entering your logbook data more efficient using the power of our computer. The first area we're going to talk about is Autofill, which is available from the Options Autofill area in Logbook Pro. And then the second option is the Double Click Auto Entry System. First, let's take a look at the Autofill. Autofill is configured on a aircraft type specific basis. So each aircraft type that you fly can have, have its own autofill capability. Autofill is a system where when you enter a, a type and duration in a flight log entry, anytime you change that duration value, whether you're entering it for the first time or modifying that duration value, the columns selected here in the autofill area are automatically going to inherit that duration value. If it is a yes-no column, such as this, uh, our options yes-no fields, it's going to check that field to say yes uh, in this particular example, uh, if I have it selected, such as tow. And then in the RA type of, uh, these are uh, custom counters. Obviously, we don't want a custom counter to inherit a duration value of 1.5. Logbook Pro is smart enough to just enter a value of 1 uh, to uh, to prime that field for you. And then also in the autofill, as you can see here on the bottom section, Logbook Pro will automatically enter a landing for you if you so specify a day landing, a night landing, or no landing at all. So let's take a look at autofill in action. We'll use the window style logbook entry system, and we'll go ahead and make a, a new flight here for the Cessna 172. And we'll take a look as we change the duration values where our autofill is in action. All right, it is automatically uh, our cross country solo and pick values were configured in the options autofill area uh, to inherit the duration value as well as our custom time and the RA. So as we change this value of duration, we can see that autofill is automatically entering data for us. The other option I wanted to show you, uh, other than the autofill, was the double click auto entry system which is enabled here in the options flight log it is on by default we'll use the stretchy style logbook system this time and we'll go ahead and make a new entry and as logbook pro remembers our last information so it's very uh, fast we'll go ahead and enter point five here if we take any of our fields all right, that was autofill actually in action, uh, showing here in the spreadsheet style log. It, it, uh, once I change the duration value and move off of the duration column, our autofill fired. But you can see there are other columns that did not get filled. So maybe our night, maybe it was a night flight or, uh, or uh, you know, there was second in command time. We can click in this uh, field and double click. And just by double clicking, we are getting the value entered for us. So there's no reason to come in here and type in 0 0.6 or 2.5 or whatever or selecting the drop down. Just double click and you're automatically going to get the value. And then I can use my plus or minus keys and actually um, adjust the values as required. Uh, so there are two unique ways of automation as you can see here in Logbook Pro. The first one as I showed you in this video is the autofill based on an aircraft type the duration value will automatically uh, replicate out to the other columns that you specify in the options autofill area. And then the double click auto entry system, another great uh, powerful tool uh, to save you data entry time is just by double clicking in the other fields will automatically get your duration value or if it's a counter field it will get a value of one. This concludes this brief video on the power of automation in Logbook Pro. Thank you for watching.